Hello everyone. So I woke up this morning, which is what I always do, and I make a video. And so I was again thinking about how um, I read a lot of novels, and I got to a point, I think it was in my late 30s, I'm now 50, where I couldn't read novels anymore. I would pick them up, read the first two paragraphs, and just put the book down in disgust because I, and I actually thought to myself, oh, I've read this, I've read this, I've read that. Oh, I know this pattern. Oh, I know where this is going. I, they all seem to be um, like a puzzle with limited pieces and immediate, immediately upon reading the first few words and lines I could see the pattern because I'd read a lot of books. So I, this morning I was thinking about, I read the Tin Drum when I was 12 and I had no contextual understanding of this book but what fascinated me about this story was this little boy that just kept crying. I mean, this war is going on and he just keeps crying. He screams. He cries. And now that I'm 50 and I have people that I've known since I was a little girl around me and watching my parents, it seems to me like people are crying all the time. They're crying their woes. For example, my mother is always talking about how um, things are sad and aging and when I first came to live where I am now, I, a lot of my friends were her, her crowd and I've watched them in the last, oh, since my mother retired, 20 years, um, move from new retirees to becoming more invalid and staying in their homes and some of them dying and I've watched this transgression to this incessant talk of health and worry in that vein and I've also watched my mother's painting now I grew up um with like art books everywhere and going to every museum in the world and looking at painting all the time and being told about it and so now that when I look at paintings I can tell some of the things that are going on and whether the painting is really flat or um, sounding some depth it's you can even know a person by how they are by how they paint like some one thing that I've laughed at with my mother is there's this one painter around here and um, immediately at looking at his paintings you see a very messy person the way he applies the paint there's this story in it like oh he's messy <laughs> I mean it's it's though a painting is a sound of the person of everything that they are and I've looked at so many of them that I do things like that and I also grew up um, with a lot of music so I think all that has something to do with um, seeing patterns in, in words and seeing everything in a way like it's an expression or a sound and within that you can see what the song of the person is to some extent and so this is my point that the sound of people, the expression of people, many people through their words, um, you can see what it is they are as a focus of themselves. And many people seem to be crying all the time. So here I am, someone having these thoughts and actually there's not a lot of people to talk to about this around me. Sometimes I meet someone but it's very rare um, and I'm questioning a lot of things and I'm just a normal person and I go onto the internet and I find destiny 
and they pretty much are s describing what I'm describing that there's some kind of limitation and going on in this world and patterns are repeated and somehow something is shut down so destiny also looks at the forms of what exists in this world they look at how money moves how it the whole structure of the system of money they look at the whole structure of what is being practiced and promoted by mankind in all ways on this earth in agriculture in education in um, health and really seeing in detail what the form of what exists on this earth is and how it moves and thus the behaviors and actions it creates with people and how people created these structures and these forms and that in tandem with with that's something that I started to do on some levels because I like to read and I didn't want to read novels anymore so I started reading biographies and information books and <laughs> so I really found a group of people that were really interested in really looking at what is here so this is what destiny is they're looking at what is here and seeing what the outflows of what is here creates realizing that it's very limited the systems and the forms of the systems tell us what is created by the systems it's really all very much the same and it's something that we all need to do and we need to understand that uh, just as I see with the people in my world and even within uh, I see it in artwork I actually can see where someone will uh, create a painting that earlier in their life that actually has a, a more sounding depth to it in a way and then even that seems to be shut down later on in a later painting it's, it's as though it's the ability to sense that depth is, is no longer um, transcribed into the painting because a person is no longer that something has they've become more one dimensional so this is also true with as I said before um, with what people talk about as they age and what they get fixed on and can't get out of and they become a crying of their very limitation and the systems actually support this and we created it and we have to clean it up so take the time to really a look at what destiny is saying everything is said in simple ways and it will take time you, it, it has to be looked at slowly and carefully because the very sound of many of us are of worry and concern um, trapped within a system that is of limitation and thus we become the very limitation as a model of the systems that we have built accepted and allowed that are on this earth and if you naturally if you become a limited um, seer of what exists you're going to have to work to get out of that limited pattern you're going to have to breathe and really focus on it to get yourself to see between the points of limitation that 
is what someone who is crying and worrying has become. So breath is a way, I mean, this is just common sense, to breathe, to focus on your breath, to take yourself back away from your crying and your worrying for survival because you're in a system that has limited you into that but we the humans have built this system so we have to clean it up and we have the tools we have the ability and the chance and the tools as breath and sound to bring ourselves back to seeing the whole to seeing what we've created and bringing us back to life, to the whole, to everything that here to, that's here to stop us from just being singular cries as a sing, limited expression that is one-dimensional. And if you start the forgiveness and use your breath, you'll begin to see this. If you look back on your life and you look at, stand back and look at what, what am I expressing? What, what is it that I talk about most during the day? You'll begin to see this. So stop, use your breath, take a look at yourself, look into the destiny material, and you will begin to see what we're saying and it becomes quite obvious after a while and it's free and you can do it from your home you don't have to go anywhere so thank you